Hey everyone, it's Lucy. Um, so as you can see, the intro of this video has, it was a little different than my past videos. And I'm working on an animation. So this is what I have so far, and I have ceramics here, and then I have a hammer to represent my string art business, and then a guitar. I may add more to it, but I think it's better to have it short and sweet. Here I'm just showing how much effort goes into this and how many layers you have to do because you're doing it frame by frame. I just did this on Procreate because that's what my sister has and that's all I know how to do it on, but it's coming along good. So expect some changes to the channel, both the music and just, I want one consistent intro. I'm gonna have playlists of all my different hobbies and there's, I've already made an art one and there's probably gonna be guitar videos, like covers. Um, and it'll really just be everything, but sort of organized in that way. And so I wanted this animation to kind of capture that it's really going to be a lot of everything. So my room has a very green theme to it, and I wanted some kind of art in addition to the tree painting that I did a while back um, that was green. And so I thought this line would be cool. So I started with just sketching it with pencil, and then I started in with the color. It got way too hot outside and I was sweating a lot, so I moved inside, made a smoothie as you can see, and I continued to just do a pretty much flat layer with not too much dimension for the whole thing. The colors I had to work with overall are a lot more blue tinted, kind of, yeah, bluish green than more lime green, um, but I just worked with it and it all came together. The gouache paints I'm using are really great because you can layer white over black, for example, and it won't smear, and I changed my mind a lot about what I was doing, so that was helpful. This is me adding some texture to that very outer rind, I think it's called, um, and it just, the texture everywhere makes it look more realistic. So there I am again, changing it to white. And then I decided that I'd make it more green. And then I added black into it. I really didn't know what I was doing at all. So this was by far the hardest part because I've never really done anything this realistic or attempting to be realistic. And it's just, I guess you're trying to do all the highlights and shines and make it look juicy almost. So I followed a picture, but it was very loosely followed because I didn't feel like putting in that much effort. I tried to just have some spots darker and some more yellowy, some more greenish blue, just to get some dimension and variance, I guess. This is a very tedious process to just go back and forth and make it lighter and then darker, add more lines, get rid of lines, and just kind of keep messing around with it. I also realized that the the white strips that go in between each of the sectors, if that makes sense, are a lot thinner than I had made it, So, I, and they're also not completely straight, so I tried to add green over top of that. A trick I found for all of the white highlights is to do it lightly first, kind of smear it out, and then go over the very inner parts of it with very white, white effect. So I had some lines be yellow and some green just to make it look more natural. Also in those darker areas that you see, I used a little bit of brown, which I would not expect, but it seemed to make it work. So here I wanted to make the watercolor look like watercolor, and I know that sounds very dumb, but you know what I mean, like a watercolor splatter. A trick to really selling this look is to have the very outside border be dark, and then like quickly fade it in and everything else is smooth within that and also to have some weird random splatters um, and then I even took a paintbrush and made little tiny splatters as you would and here is the finished product I love looking at this painting because it just looks so refreshing makes me want to have a glass of lemonade even though it's a lime <laughs> And I just had to keep stepping back and looking at it because up close it looked weird to me, but then from far away all the details come together. I hope this video inspires you to try this out too.
For the materials I used, I first have this paint palette tin that I got off of Amazon for $16. They have over 10 different designs to choose from and you can choose how many of the pans you want. I also have this water brush that I got for $8 and here's how it works. It's pretty simple, you just unscrew the top and fill it with water to the water line. And then you screw it back on and you're able to squeeze out the water from the top and you can bring these on planes and they're really portable or really anywhere you can think of. You can control how much water comes out depending on how hard you squeeze. Next I have these Royal and Langnickel gouache paints that were around $20, $25. If you're unfamiliar with gouache, they're really cool. They're kind of in between acrylic paints and watercolor paints because if you add a lot of water it's basically watercolor but if you add next to no water then they're really thick. These are water activated paints so you're able to let them dry up and then it easily rehydrates with water. If you think about the pricing for it being around a dollar for each tube of paint that's still pretty good. I just wanted to show also that cracking in the paints is completely normal. 